Uh, my name is Mark Thompson. I'm Director of Retail and Hospitality for Zebra Technologies. Zebra is a, uh, I guess, has a very wide portfolio of technologies. Anything from mobile printing to card printing to uh, mobile computing, uh, all the way to, to wireless networks, cloud services, RFID. So, uh, so amongst that, huge ranges of both hardware, uh, middleware platforms, software, uh, and, and infrastructure tools for uh, whether it's retail, whether it's financial services, manufacturing, healthcare, so across many verticals, many product sets. We've spent many years trying to, I guess, give assets a voice um, through our barcoding technology, in terms of the printing of barcodes, and also through the scanning that actually reads the barcodes and converts that to data, and then uh, and building that data up together. So in fact, we did a survey last year with uh, Forrester Research and uh, purely on, on the retail side, and we found that uh, somewhere in the region of 96% of companies are ready to invest, ready to adopt Internet of uh, Things technologies. Now that's going to be slightly differently um, adopted and mean slightly different things for each retailer, but, uh, but they're certainly interested, they're, they understand the general concept and the values of it, uh, and now they're ready to, to move forward. As a phrase, Internet of Things, if I'm a retailer, what does that mean for me? Uh, and it will mean different things. So let's break, break that down. So let's break it down to customers and into staff and back-end systems, etc. So if we're talking about customers, customers, okay, they're not things, but they are uh, sentient beings. Uh, and as a retailer, I want to understand more about my customers. Uh, so if, I'm, if my customers are online, I have the ability to see which pages they look at, how long they spend on each page, which products they click on, uh, etc. So the path that they, that they shop. Now, as a, as a retailer with a store, that's not so easy. How do I do that? So Internet of Things technologies, such as wireless, such as beacon technologies, Bluetooth beacons, allow me to engage with the customer through their mobile device, through my wireless network, through beacons that allow me to know exactly where they are at any, any point in time if I want to. And then based upon, I guess, the preferences of my marketing teams to decide whether or not to engage with them on a one-to-one -one basis through their mobile or whether or not to engage a member of staff to come and talk to them about the products that they're looking at. And all of this produces huge amounts of data as well. So looking at that data on, uh, on a historical basis to see how many customers came in, what direction they went through, almost looking at a heat map of uh, customer flows through my business. And because of that, I can manage my business better. So that's the customer engagement piece. And really that's where loyalty programs are starting to move. It's much more about almost a constant engagement opportunity with customers. If I look at more the, the back-end side, the, the staff piece, if you like, staff and assets of the business, the, the, the products that I'm selling, the infrastructure of the building itself, I want to know that it's all running efficiently, everyone's doing the right tasks, how long it takes them to do those tasks. And I also want to know that they can actually communicate with each other. So Internet of Things is about making sure they all have bits of technology so that they can connect with each other so that I can monitor what they're doing, uh, but also so that I can communicate with them, add tasks to them. So if I want a member of staff to engage with a customer, actually it's good if that member of staff has some way of me communicating with them rather than me going over a tannoy system to send them a message that way. Some of the key areas there are going to be wireless networks and we know in retail most of the retailers now are already or are planning to put in free Wi-Fi for customers. So even on small store visits, so, so if I'm looking at uh, uh, buying uh, some clothing, I may only go into the store for 15, 20 minutes, but customers are wanting to engage with that retailer via Wi-Fi. They're wanting to get more information about the product. So, so Wi-Fi is key, then some content management behind that. The beacon technology, which is really very new, but IDC have, have, uh, have already done a research report that looks at there being somewhere in the region of four and a half million beacons in the US by the end of 2018. So again, that's an explosive technology uh, that shows that retailers want to engage with customers. So the technology is the enabler there. We're also seeing a lot of retailers uh, either already using or adopting what we call self-scanning technology. The ability for the shopper to go into a supermarket pick up a device, a scanning device, and actually scan their own products as they shop, not waiting till the end of the process, 
So rather than putting them into the, into the shopping trolley, getting to the checkout, taking them out again, having them scanned, actually I scan them as they go into the trolley, straight into baskets, and then I can take them home. So a much simpler process, and also a tool, therefore, that the retailer can engage with the shopper. So very easy.